the history is like really long. So like from my uh, like the way I tell it, I usually go way back even before that because I have this friend, and he, he started the site, and it started out as a as a um, what do you call this a pretty much a gaming website where he focuses more on video games. So. He tells stories about video games and that was 2008, 2007. So back to gaming is really, really OG when it comes to uh, like uh, the, the Philippine gaming uh, scene. But you know how it works. Like we have jobs, we have to maintain our, uh, our, uh, our day job. So yeah, he started fizzling out of the, of the, of the job. Uh, of the, I mean the website. So I was, oh, I was a back end guy. So I did the 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 site uh, maintenance and all of those things. But then some brands came in. We have to do hardware reviews because like uh, a lot of uh, a lot of brands are getting into the blogging uh, to the blogging scene. So they were sending us uh, samples for the review, and that was where I. Uh, stepped in and as an IT guy I have experience in basically how do you, how do you say this without offending people mm, <laughs> dubbing down things and writing them creatively because okay. I have a journalism background um, I have the words in, I have the words um, tech 101 I think that's the safest yes. that we can go I have to give them a, uh, a tech 101 on the product and then say if it's good or bad okay. so that's pretty much how I write reviews and the brands they loved uh, how I wrote reviews and they started sending more and more and more when 2011 came I I have fully taken over back to gaming it has become a more of a hardware website and right now depending on where you look it's ranked top 100 of the uh, tech computer gaming website in the world